welcome to the studio. And I've been telling you all week that I've still been looking forward to this interview as well. Clive Anderson and Mike Machine in the studio with me. Thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. Totally a pleasure. It's great. And all the wonderful notes that I get saying I, I don't need because you guys are household names. <laughs> Yes, they are. My name is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to meet you, Jeff and Stephen. It's great that you guys are coming. Uh, Clive, we'll start with you first. Yes. Whose line is it anyway? Mm. Uh, you're no stranger, of course, to the festival. No, I come uh, quite quite often. But uh, whose line is it anyway? We, we did a, a radio show oh, about a million years, 20, 30 years ago, 30 years ago. And then it went into television. And it lives on in America. Uh, not with me, but uh, with, you know, reconstituted form. So uh, in the last couple of years, we've decided to do it as a stage show. And it's, it's great fun. Uh, it has to proceed at a very fast lick because people are expecting it to be as fast as a TV show. And they get that on, on television, on, on stage. Uh, but unfortunately, that means that Mike and all the other improvisers have to be really, really fast. We are really wanting it because yeah. you know, we have to compress it. And so there's a bunch of old men <laughs> wheezing on the stage at the end of it. You're not all old. There are, we have a few new people That's, coming oh, as well. Oh, you Carrie Ed Lloyd, yes, Ruth yeah, Brad. Yeah. Oh, you're not at the Zimmer stage yet, you guys. Come yeah, on. Oh, <laughs> There's yeah. a lot of energy. You can feel it already in the studio. Yeah. But you do feel it. I mean, because you have to keep your right. That pace yeah. is something else. So, you're getting, you know, if somebody does a song and then right straight into another bit of, you know, of acting away or bring up somebody from the audience to, uh, to, to to work an idea. And the hour, it's a, you know, it's an hour show like most free shows. And the hour goes zooming by. And I've always got another 10 games I'm trying to get them to do, but we just run out of time. So Which is great, because then you're thinking ahead to the next show. Yeah. I used to, and I'm sure for anyone listening to now, I used to love watching Whose Line Is It Anyway. It's such yeah. a big part of when I was growing up, and I used to sit there thinking, do they know beforehand? Have they been told? Yeah, but no, no, it's all it's all improvised. And uh, but advantage on television, to be honest, you can you know record a lot, mm. and then if one game or one bit of it doesn't work, you can cut that out. But of course, on stage, there's no there's no get out of that. So if something fails, and I you know pretty much it doesn't but you know we got a pretty it, good hit rate yeah, yeah yeah but if it sort of fizzles out you, you we've got to recover from that and right just, um, you know, sometimes it'll end on a nice polish which tells the audience it's it's ended and in life so it may taper off a little but mm. it's great because it, it moves so quickly nobody has the time to really analyze it even yeah. uh, it, much less us but from having done radio to television to to then the live stuff do you thrive on the live is that really what is, get, gets the juices flowing it's definitely the audience that yeah, really keeps it is. you going, doesn't it? That's the greatest strength in improv is is their expectation. Improv audiences meet you more than halfway, especially now since they're sophisticated is the right word. And whose line kind of gave people an idea to go, oh, this is what improv does and what mm. it needs. And so when they go to the club, they're already aware of it, you know. Yeah. And so they come part more than part way with you. It's quite and a big great. strand at the, at the fringe. There's lots of different improv shows where the people make up a whole musical on on the night or in front of your very eyes. Yeah. Or I mean, it's, it's quite it's quite a thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't to what extent we can take credit for it. it take it all. Take yeah, it all. Yeah, yeah, well, actually, because we can. And have you got your check yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> big fat check book. Yeah. Yeah. You've got three shows here, and we'll come on to that in just a second, um, Clive. But to go back to you know whose line is anyway. First of all, we can expect to see a lot of um, the sort of regulars that. Yes. Uh, there's a. There's there's a lot of Mike. Uh, actually, not as much as there used to be. Really, to be honest, but, uh, he's busy but with he, other shows, Clive. That's doing, why. No, he's doing a lot of. Uh, well, I think all the shows maybe you're doing. But anyway, so yeah, pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. And uh, Greg Proops is doing a lot, and then Colin Mock is coming in. Not very good. Uh, and Josie Lawrence is, uh, is who's also, also fantastic to work with. She's doing uh, loads. Then we've got uh, Phil Jupiter, who people probably yeah. know from other TV shows. He's quite a revelation, though, isn't he? He's, he's amazing. He's, fa he's fantastic. And, this, and as Mike's mentioned, you know, there's sort of people like Carrie Lloyd to young, younger uh, performers who we've managed to slot There's in. a lot of young gals in, yeah. in it because it, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, Pippa and Ruth are yeah. from Pippa Showstoppers. Evans, yeah. yeah, of course. And yeah. uh, Tony Slatter is going to do yes. some uh, towards the end. He, he was in the uh, British improv TV shows. He's great, ago. Tony Slattery. Yeah, yeah. well, he's, uh, we've got him lined up for later in the series. There's probably some others I haven't mentioned there, but... Uh, Stephen Frost as well, who's again another British improviser who did uh, whose line shows. Brilliant guys and girls, you've got involved. What oh, so the right. audience? Okay, and you've said this that the audience and uh, are sort of not, don't necessarily make it for you, but they're they're giving you fifty percent of perhaps the More. material that is coming from nowhere. What's what are the yeah. most random things they're asking you to to do? Well, I uh, the. 
the, the enthusiasts come along. It's, they, they're sort of divided a bit into some of them who just like giving suggestions that they've seen yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, or in like traditional things, but there's there's always somebody who wants to push it into. That's a polite way of saying the enthusiasts. I'm thinking of other words here, but. No, no, but they're, they're a fan <laughs> who've maybe watched the show for, for years or they've seen it on YouTube and they've, oh, that was a great one that I remember them doing, which is sometimes good, sometimes bad. So, uh, Josie in particular doesn't really like it if she's given a suggestion that she can remember doing fairly recently because I think she must be taught to think, oh, I don't want to just remember and do it again because that's not improv. She wants new, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, But, you know, I like to encourage them to come up with, you know, new things like, you know, I don't know Game of Thrones rather than... He comes <laughs> up with the best situations. I mean, usually, you know, oh, OK, can you get someplace where you're a husband and wife? He'll go, a husband and wife on a <laughs> ship and one of you have just, like, uh, had an accident and, you, and you're you like, man, this is like a playlist. This well, is great. Uh, but it, but it's hard to keep up with different ones because... Uh, yeah, but you yeah, manage. I, I'm always frightened that somebody's going to come one night and then come again in in five days' time and a, a situation or something that's shouted out is more or less exactly the same as they saw. Oh, well, they just do that every night. But, of course, some things do come round, but uh, you try and mix up who's doing them and with different... Com- if, people, if people haven't seen the show... This conversation must sound completely balmy. What I is think he talking most about? people are familiar with whose line yeah, is anyway, well, so you, you are, but not everybody. It's a this series of games where actors, improvisers are put into things. They've got to sing a song, act a scene, uh, respond to suggestions from the audience. Uh, involved the way we had the audience come up and do a few of the games. They've proved more and more popular. <laughs> that is it. I think that makes this show in particular such fun. Is they're actually getting up on stage to Greg and I or Josie mm. and you know manhandling us or playing with us. And you can see they're always, like, really excited. Yeah. So it's best bites of the cherry, really. Mm. I love your description. That's what we use in the trailer. That segment's just been lifted off right now. I can hear the producers going, yeah, we'll take that section. That's the trailer. <laughs> That's the trailer for whose line is yeah. it anyway for, for those perhaps. Well, as, as you have said, young people perhaps that are not familiar <clears throat> with the show, but nowadays, thanks to social media, YouTube, etc., people are familiar because they go digging. They're looking for something a bit different. Yeah. Well, you can uh, you can see old uh, British news lines, <laughs> and then there's slightly um, there's, there's ones on one network a guy called Drew Carey used to introduce, and now they've moved on to a third host who is uh, he, uh, what's she called a- Aisha Tyler, and yes. uh, she's rather beautiful, which I think rather spoils the run of hosts. Um, You're just jealous. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I'm thinking of having my, some constructive surgery you to want, make me look more like. Her. Or you just want yeah. to do a double header, maybe. Uh, Oh, well, OK. <laughs> that out the wrong that. way. That came out the wrong way. I don't know what that means. Good yeah. Lord. Yeah. It's, that's that's Glaswegian slang no, for something. No, I welcome yeah. to Innuendoville. <laughs> it's not a Scottish thing for anything else, I promise you. And you should know with your dad having been yes, Scottish, yes. right? Yes, well, we didn't discuss that sort of thing. <laughs> Finally, where can we see the show? Whose line is it anyway? Well, you can see Whose Line Is It Anyway, and it's on in the assembly rooms in George Street, uh, 10 past 8 every night. And if you're a real you know, enthusiast, especially for Mike, you then hop into a cab or run to see your... Hip prob. Yeah, where's that on? Or that's at the Assembly Gardens. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's at 10.30, 10.25, I think. And you're also doing a play during the day. At 1.25, I'm doing a play, which if you like Family Guy or The Simpsons, it's a play called Merry Go Nowhere about uh, a gal who lives in L.A. or family and the increasingly annoying and murderous neighbors who surround her and make her crazy. But you're not it's, a cartoon character. Surely. Not a cartoon no. character, no. but the yeah. language set, the descriptive stuff and yeah. the characters are very broad very broad, dark, funny, absurd American this is your, characters. This is your play? You've written this yeah. play? No, I didn't write it. Julie Shavers wrote it. And I met her in L.A. and she's just a wonderful writer. I play a guy named Frank who's like a lawn fascist who was like willing to shoot somebody and walk on his lawn. Is like, I don't know what to do about it. I just love my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> He's just crazy. Is that three? Have we covered all three? Three, you've got yeah, three. Pl- three. three. Oh, what wow. do you do in your spare time, Mike? I do, um, I do some, I do some uh, detail work on people's cars. <laughs> so if you'd like your bumper shined up, come by yeah. my flat. Yeah. And that's not any he takes him washing everything. If you need your clutch yeah, fixed, yeah, yeah. your choke's not working. If the choke's not working, Mike will come exactly. around and he'll... Yeah, Good American clutch. know-how. Yeah. I make America great again by leaving it. <laughs> <laughs> You're making Edinburgh great again by yeah. being here I and getting the show. Yet. Thank you for coming to see us and good luck Thank with the God. shows. Thank you very much. <laughs>